predator uh, serpent energy field. And through the, the pedophile, in the course of having sex with children, the possessing entity is drawing that energy out. The ancients talked about this. Um, and so when this, you see this ancient theme of sacrifice of young virgins to the gods, young virgins was code for children. And, and they are vampiring off that energy field because it seems very, very uh, strongly that they want the energy of children before puberty because at puberty there is a chemical change, quite obviously a, a chemical hormonal change at puberty, that's what it is, that changes the energy field and makes it less, if you like, desirable for them. It, less, it's... it's um, less than the pure essence that, that they're looking for. And so um, they uh, possess these paedophile entities. The possession um, triggers the, the lust for children. And then uh, in the act of, of, of the horrific act of sex with children, they're drawing off that energy. And, and, and so you get paedophilia and Satanism, human sacrifice, blood drinking ceremonies, animal sacrifice, etc in a fantastically greater ratio among the upper echelons of society than you do in the general population. Because in the end, it's, we see the physical. They're always looking at the energetic. And it's all energy in the end, and, and the manipulation of energy, and the, the um, vampiring and absorption of energy. Uh, and we um, are now beginning to see th that expression of what appears just to be physical things in a physical act. You mention in your book, Sacrifice of the Firstborn. Do you want to explain that a bit? Well, it's, it, that, that's, that's a, a kind of a, another whole a big area, but uh, it is, uh, seems to be uh, a very much a part of these Illuminati bloodlines, certainly some expressions um, of them and some of the rituals that they uh, get involved in. And it, it's um, in one way, it is the initiates proving that their allegiance is to the cult rather than anything else. I, mean, I wouldn't name any names here, but it occurred to me there are people, quite famous people, who've lost their firstborn child. Yes, and that might be part of it, and it might not be. Um, uh, you know, it's not either or, black and white, uh, it's always um, a shade of grey. It's getting the shade of grey right. But it, it, it is a, a part of this whole ritual um, cult uh, mentality to make sure that the person is willing to do anything, anything, that the uh, cult, the control system at that level, says they must do. And uh, sacrificing your firstborn is, well, if you'll do that, you'll do anything. And this is something that we need to keep in our minds um, when we're looking at politicians and, and, and other people um, who appear to be there to serve the public interest, but are there as, as conduits, as front men and women, to serve the control system cabal's interest. And without any question at all, um, very significant numbers of people in those positions, particularly the major positions, are actually um, involved in human sacrifice uh, rituals and paedophilia. Um, and so their allegiance is not even close to uh, being uh, to the people. And I've, uh, um, I've talked to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, Theo, all over the world, who've told me the same story of, of being abused in these rituals, of seeing uh, other children and animals sacrificed by some real famous people that appear on CNN and all the rest of it. Um, I, I came out, for instance, um, in 1998 um, in a book called The Biggest Secret, and I named Ted Heath, the Prime Minister of Britain from 1970 to 74, who actually signed us into what is now the European Union. This man um, was extraordinary in the scale of human uh, sacrifice and murder and torture this they got into and he was prime minister of this country and a journalist called him when the first edition of the book came out 1998 read the passage to him I never heard a word 
Um, um, if, he, if he wanted to go to court, which he would, of course, have to do publicly, he could, he could have stopped that book, but he didn't. Why? Because it's true. Because I talked to people who'd, who'd, who'd seen uh, some of the things that he did. Uh, and I've had other people come to me since and say, I couldn't believe it when you mentioned Ted Heath. This is my experience of him. Mm. Now, but he's only one example. But we have to be careful what we, if we use names. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, people Ted, who aren't deceased, I know he's yeah, deceased. Ted, so. Ted, Ted Heath is, 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 is now left us for goodness knows where. Um, uh, and uh, I wish him well wherever he is, because vibrationally, I, I wouldn't fancy it myself. But um, <laughs> he is, um, he is a, um, just one example. And I, I've talked to people who've been inside these cults, inside these uh, satanic rings, who, who keep naming the same uh, names. Uh, and people would be shocked if they, if they heard some of them. And like I say, uh, not everyone in the upper echelons of political, business, banking, uh, media, society is, is, is like that. Nothing like everyone. But significant numbers are in much greater ratio than in the general population. You know, when, when, when Satanists have come out, like um, David Berkowitz, uh, the son of Sam Killer in New York, mm. who was... Um, uh, jailed for the murders as if he did it alone. Well, in, in prison, he actually wrote to uh, a Christian minister, uh, they interchanged um, uh, communications, and he explained that actually it was the satanic cult in that area of New York that was doing it, and he was just the, the, the front man for it. And he said in some of his letters, you know, Pe 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 people think basically that Satanists are like the, 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 the low life of society. That's how they perceive them. No, no, he said. They're the doctors. They're the, 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 the people that run society. They're the, they're the pillars of society. And Well, there's that confession at the end of your book, isn't there? Sure, that? yeah. Which is that, pretty shocking stuff. That's very interesting, yeah. In, in the early part of... I don't mean it's your confession. It was no, no. In the early part of 2010... Um, a document came to light in Australia which was purported to be not I call it the the, the confessions of a Satanist for, 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 just to give it a, a title that people can understand what I'm talking about but it wasn't really a confession was it when you read it it was it was more just explaining the power that this that, that the satanic satanic uh, network has over the world mm. um, and as I've said in the book, I can't verify its um, authenticity. What I can say after two decades of researching this is it's absolutely brilliantly accurate in how the Satanists work. And he talks in that document about how um, politicians are um, introduced to paedophilia and how it's our little secret and how um, when the children are um, abused uh, by uh, the politicians, the